Hello friends, if you are looking to make dhokla at home and that too instant dhokla, then this video is for you because today we are going to make instant dhokla. So let's see what all do we need for this. 1 cup besan or gram flour, suji, semolina or rava, 1 tablespoon plus half tablespoon, ginger and chili. I have grated the ginger 1 inch piece and 2 chilies, sugar 3 teaspoon, salt 1 teaspoon, lemon juice 1 teaspoon and this is the magical ingredient which is eno or the fruit salt. So this we have taken 1 and a half teaspoon. This is the one that helps in making the instant dhokla. So we have taken one cup of water to make a batter. We will be giving a tempering to it also, but those ingredients I'll tell you later. So let's make a batter first. Okay, so it's always good to sieve the gram flour so that it doesn't form any lumps. So always sieve your gram flour before making dhokla, then there will be no lumps found. So let's do this. So our gram flour is sieved now. Now we'll add the semolina to it, then sugar, salt and one teaspoon of lemon juice. So just measure it and put one teaspoon. Now just mix it well and add the ginger and chilies also. Now the eno we are going to add at the end because that's the one which gives it a rise. So we have to keep our tin ready for making the dhokla and make sure you grease it well so that the dhokla doesn't stick to it. I've taken a 6 inch diameter of the tin which you can use the one that you use for making the cake also. And now let's add the water. And also in the meantime I have kept the water for boiling in my steamer so that the water is boiling when we transfer this batter to our baking dish or the tin that you are using for making the dhokla. So make sure there are no lumps. Use a whisk. It is much better to use a whisk to do this. Once the batter is nicely and smoothly done, then we will add the eno at the end. Okay, so now the batter is smooth and equal now. Now we are going to add the eno and just see how it will make the batter rise. Yes, now that's the magic. See, you can see the batter is getting double the size. And that is why we call this an instant dhokla because everything we are doing here and now, we are not waiting to make it sit for some time. And as soon as you add the eno, make sure your tin is ready or your plate is ready in which you are going to make it and the water is boiling hot so that we can straight away transfer it into the plate and into our steamer. So just pour it all into your dish. Okay, so now I have transferred the whole batter into this and now slowly put it in your steamer where the water is boiling and cover it and steam it for 7 minutes. Put a timer for 7 minutes and then switch off the flame. Okay, so friends, for tempering, I will be using half a teaspoon of mustard seeds, three to four green chilies slit lengthwise, some coriander leaves, say half a teaspoon, curry leaves, six to seven, one teaspoon of lime juice, and some grated coconut for garnishing. So I've taken half a teaspoon of oil and going to give it a tempering. And also we will use half a cup of water to make it a liquid. So let's start with putting our mustard seeds. Let them crackle. Our dhokla is steaming up nicely. Do not open it. Let it sit there for 7 minutes and then we'll switch off the flame. And now we'll put our chili. Be careful. Chili can to splutter on putting hot oil. You just want to give it a little fry. Then our curry leaves, 
Wow, the smell is just beautiful. Okay. Now, I will be adding the half cup of water to it. After half cup of water, I will be putting one teaspoon of lemon juice. And let it boil for a while, just let the water boil up. And then, also my coriander leaves. It is a wonderful tempering because we have to soak our dhokla in some water. Now, this is the water we will be soaking it in. So it's a very important part of this dish and the coconut, grated coconut we will use for later once we are garnishing it. So the water is boiled, now you can switch off the flame. So friends, our 7 minutes are up. I have switched off the flame and I'll wait for another 3-4 minutes so that the dish is cooled down and I take it out carefully on a plate. Then we will do the last bit that is the tempering. Okay, so four minutes are up. Now let's see how is it doing. Well, it looks good. See, it has puffed up very nicely. Now, very carefully take out the dish from the steamer and we will garnish it. Okay, so friends, after two minutes, it has soaked inside all the water. Now, I'll do the garnishing. We'll put some more green coriander and our wonderful grated coconut so it looks wonderful you can cut it in, in, in any shape you want you want squares you want like a cake because I call it a sweet and savory cake because it's no less than baking a cake so you can cut it however you want normally it is cut in rectangles so we'll do that you can cut it now because see it's so soft it has taken in all the water that we added and that's why it's so moist and soft. I'll show you from the size because that is where you know that the dhokla is properly made. The, from the sides, when it shows all the holes in it, that's the sign it is done very nicely. So let's serve it now. So here friends, our instant dhokla is ready and it looks absolutely yummy. The sign of a good dhokla is, when you see the pores at the side, it shows that it is soft and moist. And it is always a good idea to keep this dhokla into the fridge and wait for at least one hour for it to cool down because it tastes much better when it's cold. And now for the tip of the day, if you are making the dhokla at home, make sure you're using a six inch or a seven inch diameter of your cooking dish. So because if you use any bigger than that, it will not rise properly. So it, it can either be 6 inch or a 7 inch diameter. So I hope you like today's recipe. Please share it with your friends and family and do let me know how you like it. If you follow the instructions and the correct measurements, you will not go wrong with this recipe. I assure you that. So please like, share and subscribe and I'll be back with more interesting and easy recipes. Thank you for watching. Have a pleasant day.